How you doing? Yeah. How's it going? I'm good, I'm good. Good, good. Guys, you're doing time, isn't it? Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. <laughs> How you doing? How you been? been? I've just, just been stuck inside, mate, and it's just killing me. <laughs> Well, I mean, it is getting longer, brother. What's happening? I see that there. <laughs> well, see what I try to do? <laughs> see, when you said, see when you try to do them little thin party lines? Look. Oh, yeah. You yeah. <laughs> should usually have it done around the sides, didn't you? The sides. Yeah, no, but I was going to try to do that myself. But I just know I'd end up with, like, bald hair and a step. Do you know what I mean? How you been? How's it going? All right? Yeah, all right, mate. All right, all right, all right. Just uh, happy because I've got time off with the family, but, you know, yeah. it's just a bit mad. Yeah. It's just no, like no. knowing what's going on outside in this world at the moment. It's a bit, I don't know. Um, you know bro, it's just like, it's, it, it's, it's pretty crazy at the moment, to be honest with you. There's just... Um, it's it's just it's just happening all over the place, you know yeah. what I mean? It it is it's it, it's the, the the world out there at the moment, brother, is just it's crazy. But you know, if people just sort of just take that little time to listen for a bit, um, I mean, there's reports today that it's it's on the decline now. How true it is. I see we don't that. Know. I see Boris Johnson speaks. To, I'm going to be deadly honest with you. I'm not really following the news that much. At first, mm. I followed it every single day, but I'm just like, yeah. I'm not going to be, I can't be positive, drowned with negative. Do you know what I mean? I just thought this isn't going to work. That's why I, I deactivated yeah. Facebook for that reason too, because not necessarily people were wrong, just because I was just like, do I really want to be looking at this all the time? Do Absolutely. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I've, I've, I've literally, I've cut the news out now, I've cut the radio. I used to listen to a lot of talk sport and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And, uh, even on there now, it's like about football players taking wage cuts, and and you know, and, and which is all good. I and mean, then I'm not going to get into all that, um, but just like you know, oh, this is happening, and every hour is the news on the radio, and it's all that's being dominated, you know, all over social media, and it's just it just blows my mind. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, I don't. I really think about the positive side of things, bro. You know what I mean? It's hard so, to know. So what what I find as well is like we I say to the missus, they sit down, it's a watch a film, and the only film they've put on is Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> why, <laughs> why? <laughs> and trolls. I'm like, okay, the kids yeah. are sorted, but what about us? <laughs> uh, to, but to be honest with you, I mean, did you see that? If you see the link that Julian put up, no, I haven't in, seen um, it. if you go into the wrong group and go back to Julian, uh, Julian Gam. Yeah. Right, um, he's put a little link up there on for your phones, and you can send the link to people as well. Yeah. and you can watch. It's like America apparently have decoded. We've tried it out; the whole family have got it, and it's they've been de they've decoded all their films in America because of people on lockdown. Really? So what they've done is they've just decoded them, and they've got literally untold films on there, bro. That that just like that you can you can watch. Basically, it's, it's called um the actual app. Uh, the app it's called Night Night TV. Oh, I'm gonna have and, a look. Um, it's yeah, check it out. But it's, it is in there. Or if not, what I'll do is I'll get it. I'll copy the link and I'll send it directly to your WhatsApp. I, right, I, you know I, I had mean? a, I have a thing called Movie Box, which is the show box, That's the it. new show box, yep, the deleted yep. show box. Now Movie Box is there. It's all right. Yeah, it's just trying to link it up to your TVs and that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. It's, the buffer. There's only so much to see this at your, 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 your I mobile. Can't do like, it, you know, mate. Mobile. It's all right. I put it on this. I've got the Mac, so sometimes I'll put this in a lounge and just sit down, sit back and watch Movie Box. But hey, excellent. You ain't done that for a while. Well, Paul, excellent. quick one. Yeah. Give us a big introducement for the Turning Point show. This is going to be mm. one of the first episodes, well, the first episode that I've decided to do during this moment. So just give us okay. a huge introduction to yourself, and then I will go from there. Right. So um, my name is uh, my name is Paul Killick. I'm 44 years of age. Um, I've uh, I've got my uh, wife with two children, two grown up children, 25 and 18. Um, I spent uh, obviously over 20 years in the security industry, uh, both frontline retail uh, and door work. Um, also, uh, obviously the past four years of, um, obviously I was, uh, as you, you're aware, we've spoken yeah. about, I went through some uh, tough times, um, after I left the job, um, it weren't a fee for two years, 
basically had a stroke, um, which was a minor stroke, thankfully. Um, I recovered from that. And um, last year, decided to venture into the uh, mobile DJ business um, with a relative of mine. Now, and, um, and now we're um, yeah we're we're going we're going forward with it. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty me, pretty much me in a in a in a nutshell right now. Um, just can't wait for this all to be over. So. Uh, you can go out there and uh, enjoy life. You take yeah. so many things for granted, that, brother. That, so, I love, you know what you I mean? Know what? Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, no, definitely. Just, uh, I, I, I like, I watched, uh, what was it, your live. <laughs> I loved it. Do you remember when you done the, how many hours um, did you do? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the problem is with that, I mean, I, I love it. I mean, I just do it out of, just to entertain people. Why people are stuck indoors. I'm planning, and I am planning another one. Probably going to do one at the end of this week, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, it's it's just you know it's it's. I'm trying to. I mean, that's perhaps that's something we can talk about off uh, off off yeah, camera yeah, in respect to trying to get something out there because um, Facebook keep um, cutting me off. Uh, you know, I mean, I have to keep coming out of it and then jumping back in Why? again. Right? What do you make because of the music you're playing? It's the music that I'm playing. Basically, the copyright, um, uh, you know, after I finish with this, I have, like, literally about 60 notifications saying that Sony own the copyrights to this music. Oh. Warner Brothers, um, other different, Columbia, they're all, like, basically comes in and says, I own this, uh, we own these tunes, basically, and, you know, we're not allowed to play and blah, blah, blah. But I'm trying to look for something else. Someone suggested Twitch and all that to me to do it via them. But it's trying to get Twitch, everybody... Twitch, to Twitch, Twitch is good. I do a lot of gameplay on that. So I, okay. I, I was putting some gameplay videos up on YouTube and I decided to throw them through mm. Twitch. Just a lot better room. There's a... Can't, that's, I, I find that strange, you know, because I was on a... I'm trying to do a motivational speech ages ago on Facebook. And I had mm. a song in the background. Right, and it was you could just about hear it if you listen back with headphones. Stop my whole thing because that was in the first minute. First minute, they shut yeah. off my whole thing, it was 30 minutes long. Right, they shut it all off because I had someone's song there. I think, I think they're being they're quite harsh about that. I, I can understand the Facebook side of things, um, in the respect that they could get in trouble for the copyright. It's not really directly coming from them, it's them what they've got to put in place, they've got to protect themselves. But uh, while we're in the middle of a, as we know, world, world pandemic, you'd think they'd say, do you know what? Look, people are out there enjoying They're not trying to be in. They can't yeah. go anywhere. You know People what I mean? That's what it break. is. Like, you know? Yeah. I oh, know. I agree. Well, look, I'm just going to skip back because you said something about uh, security. Is that like the uh, first job then that you went into? Or... Um, well, basically, I mean, I've, 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 I've originally, I originally come from... Um, um, I was I was like I was born in Guy's Hospital. Mate. I'll just a little backtrack there to uh, I was born in Guy's Hospital. I was raised in sort of Lewisham and um, the Aylesbury Estate off the old Kent Road, like you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, so yeah. I'm a proper South London boy. Yeah. Through and through. It's very rare to see <laughs> now. It's very rare to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. So um, and then I just you know growing up and whatnot, and then I've, 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 I moved to Crystal Palace um, with obviously my mum and, and and dad and whatnot and my sister. In uh, eighty nine, well, and well, um, that's in Paris. You know, I used to live near there. Sorry? I used to live near there. Yeah, I lived. Uh, I lived in. Uh, I lived in um, Upper Norwood. Like, okay, upper, yeah, upper yeah. Norwood, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, it was. Um, it was. It was. It was from there. I met the missus. Um, left there in uh, obviously uh, in ninety five. Uh, moved into I'm lived in I've lived in Orpington for sort of like you know 25 years now. Yeah, yeah. So um, and you know and I got into security in '96. Wow. And um, I never I never looked back and I came out of it in sort of like you know the, at the end of 2015. Um, what was it? Start 2016. When you say security, what, mm -hmm. give give us some examples from from, from what extreme to what extreme? Examples, I mean, I've worked for I've worked for um I've. The first ever people I worked for was the London Stock Exchange. Okay. Um, with a company called uh, with a company called Reliance, and uh, no, sorry, I do apologise. No, it was the uh, London Transport headquarters opposite okay. the Broadway Broadway House, opposite the old Scotland Yard. Right, I can't remember. Um, yeah, 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 I know that. Well, well, I say the old Scotland Yard, as it, it is near. There's another one there, isn't there? So yeah. it's a new building. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I, uh, I literally. Uh, Started out there and never looked back. It was just like you know, patrolling offices, different stuff. 
um, just looking after the buildings, really, not being, um, you know, not, not being sort of going from job. I didn't, I deliberately, I'd never got sacked from any jobs. I kind of done like 10 months there yeah. and I decided to change into another firm. I just wanted to broaden my horizon. Of course. Um, and then I went to work for the London Stock Exchange doing security there. That was very interesting. I bet. Very interesting job. Um, and then it just it just went from there, to be honest. Yeah. I've done a bit of retail. I've got to be honest with you. I wasn't big on the uh, retail. Um, I put up with a lot of stuff in retail. Worked at the Glades uh, Shopping Centre in Bromley as well. Oh, um, I was a terror there. there. I was, yeah, I was <laughs> in there, but that was that was going back in 2000. So that was like 20 years ago or 20 years ago. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, Sorry, man. That, so that was um, that's going back some. You look so, yeah, you probably, look Sorry? You look young and fresh, though. Well, yeah, yeah. What can I say? Well, I, I wish I felt it, Stu. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, and it just went from there, like, you know what I mean? And I just done, i have done all different. So I was doing door work as well, like, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of door work, you know. I just you get I a lot of trouble? It, it uh, okay? I got into a few... Uh, misdemeanors as such as, you know what I mean? Um, um, yeah, you know, I was... Uh, Sort of like, you know, we've had, we've been threatened with knives, being threatened of being shot. Um, you know, I spent um, some time. I was on, you know, Richard in the, um, who was yeah. with us uh, on the cast. Um, he was, I worked alongside Richard as well, both in security and on the doors as well. You know, I mean, so we, you know, yeah, we come into some pretty, uh, sharp scrapes. You know what I mean? It's, uh, but it's still part and parcel of the job. Mm. Um, the last, I mean, I just, I went for it. I went for the BBC as well. Oh, I've done two, two years with the BBC at the Broadcasting House, the radio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, before, before it all became one, that's when, uh, obviously, the, the television studio was still going and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but um, before they moved to Manchester. So, but now, yeah, I, I just kept going and going, different angles, different things I've done. And then... Um, the last, the last, uh, the last job I had was, um, as I say, was about four years ago in the respect of security. Yeah. Um, was um, you know, it was working on like in um, uh, like a housing uh, development. Right. So, but it was it was just off the Chelsea Bridge there. Oh, so nice. very, very, it was very yeah. exclusive. Don't get me yeah, wrong. I can imagine. Um, in the Ebury Bridge Road, it was called, and. Um, and it was broken water side, the actual development. So okay. we worked, we worked there, and we had a lot of like a lot of famous people there. A certain uh, a certain vacuum cleaner manufacturer that we all know of today. Yeah, who? Was, uh, who? Yeah, yeah. Not sharp, <laughs> so is it? Uh, no, yeah, 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 absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, and different, you know, different uh, clientele that we had. You know, what I mean. Um, it don't matter. I don't work there anymore, so I can say who. So, yeah, you had the owners of Harrods. They had um, one of the penthouses at there. Oh, um, wow. So but you also had the element for where we were there is because you also had the social housing side of things. Yeah. And um, obviously you, you did get some. It was next to an estate, and we did get quite a uh, uh, an element there, like, coming through. But um, it was – but I, I witnessed – I think I witnessed – at that point I was coming to – the sort of end of saying, do you know what, I done. Tw- I was doing twelve hour shifts, you know, four on four off. I missed a lot of time with my kids growing up, you know, to give them the best start in life. Yeah, I, I, it, that's all I could do. So you know, at the end of the day, great jobs, very interesting. Met a lot of people, um, and my experience, I would I change it? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ever change so, for what so I. So your kids basically, your kids basically was your drive to go. And also, you turn around to get out. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, I mean, works. I come. I went through. I went through obviously a few experiences um, that we um, we sort of hit, and we we, yeah. we went. You know, we had to deal with a couple of. Um, it was quite traumatic experiences. You know, there was a. You know, there was an, a, like a drug overdose there, and yeah. and I think I was on the edge anyway. I just didn't feel right in myself. So I, I basically the whole going from. The uh, seeing basic, it was an over drug overdose. There was a uh, um, a fire there also, and there was also a gang rape there, oh. um, which obviously I can't go into details over. But no, I was the I first point of call for the girl. Yeah, I was the first point of call, point of call for the girl, and 
I didn't realise just, you know, it was it was quite, I don't really want to go just for the obvious. It. It, it sent me, it sent me over the edge, Steve. It sent that. me over the oh, edge. Wow. And, um, and I come away from that. And unfortunately, that's when um, I, was, I had a literally from, from 2016 to 2017, I was, I was in a place that um, I would rather not visit again. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I know you sort of like, you know, we could talk about, I mean, you don't mind us talking about this on, turning points of stuff you talk about whatever yeah. you like yeah and um um basically it, it come to a point where i just felt that I, I was worthless in in what i was doing you know yourself i don't have to tell you about traumatic situations and whatnot um at the end of the day um it was it was something that um you know now it's being brought to the forefront of mental health um and obviously mental health for me i went through an absolute uh, mental time you know I had people around me I had family I had friends um, but you know you just wanted I come out of the job I didn't know what else I was going to do I only ever knew security yeah um, you know will someone employ me again you know what I mean I was battling with my weight um, and I just I'd had enough it just, and felt, it just felt like a domino know. effect at the time I guess isn't it? exactly you know you always want someone to someone to tell you it's going to be all right. But, you know, you feel you that listen, you're though. the head of the family. Like, if someone, if you actually go, like, don't bring yourself back there, like, mentally now. Mm. But, I mean, if you just look yeah, quickly no, no, back no, into I'm, it, yeah? If yeah. someone there and then told you it's going to be okay, would you really have took their word for that and believed it? You wouldn't. To be honest, no, I wouldn't. That's have. what I'm saying. I wouldn't have because I didn't, feel, I didn't feel it. But you mm. just get that. Why won't so? It, 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 you kind of get a selfish... You feel of, like no one's doing enough horrible. for you, even though they're doing enough for you. Exactly. Even though they're there, you're not you're not actually realising just how much they are there for you. Until you, know you come I mean? out the other end. Indeed, until you come out the other end. And at that point it was I just one day I just decided that um I didn't want to be here no more. And um yeah, I, I tried to take my life. Um um but it didn't go according to plan or it could be a way that, yes, it did go according to plan because it didn't happen. So did I want it to happen? No. You know what I mean? Um, I, try, I tried and I didn't succeed. Um, it, was a, it was a selfish thing to do. It was a selfish thing to do because I've got a loving family. At the time of me doing this, my, my children, my daughter was growing up, but my son was still young. You know, you, you, you don't think about things like that at the time. Cool. Um, and where did it all stem from? It, it it basically stemmed from, you know, the fact that I couldn't, I didn't want to be. Um, I had to be. I, I was the head of my family. What's going to happen now? I can't get a job. I can't. You know, what, what's what am I going to do? You know what I mean? What, they rely on me. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And then, but before you know it, it was a case of, okay, I went off it. It didn't happen again. Then. In, within the same year, I tried again. You know, what I mean, I tried to strangle myself in that respect. In the um, in the respect to like, you know, uh, you know, the whole business. No, got into details. I'd rather not. Yeah. But the fact remains is, I tried to, I tried to do it again. This time, um, enough was enough, um, and it took a family member, um, which was my dear mum, to say to me, "Look, if you don't seek the help, then I've got, I'm going to have no other choice." Um, to you know that that to to, to to know to seek the help for you, which would have meant me going away. Mm -hmm. um, something I didn't want. To, something I didn't want to be away from my family. I didn't want to be away from my children and my world. As you know, as a father, you know you'll do anything for it. Yeah. At that time, um, at that time, I just felt I didn't. I I didn't care about anyone, including my missus or my kids. So you know, bro. I'm, I mean, you know, yeah. to come out of that. To go through the the, the, the counselling, to go through like you know being on antidepressants, which don't get me wrong, I feel that they are there. Are you still um, on them now? Sorry, are you still on antidepressants as we speak? No, 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 no. I've 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 come out the other side. I Good. went through the counselling. I found a lot of um, I, I have a lot to thank. As a guy, I used to work with a guy called Darren Full. Yeah, and um, he taught me he taught me the art of meditation. And it's as, as, as strange as it no, sounds. It like, I, I, I look into it. I, I, fall asleep, I fall asleep to them. I fall to sleep to that music in my ear. Absolutely. I put headphones in every night and I listen to meditation music. 
I just don't meditate. I just like the music. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. But yes, but e listen, either way, there's still a form of meditating because you're actually you're you're actually just still bringing it into yourself. You know what I mean? You're 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 allowing you know you're allowing that subconscious to get into to, to your nut like you yeah, know what I yeah. mean? And that for me, that was how I found it as well that I actually went into that um, and just. It was all working and whatnot. I have a I have a lot to thank him for because okay. it kept me. I suppose it kept me in the last year, the three years I was at that last job on that estate. Um, the last year of it, the meditation helped me a lot, and I suppose it did block out a lot of things that were still there for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was it was it was hard, bro. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, oh, there's a lot worse worse of people out there than myself. We all go through our own battle, battles, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't need to say that to you. Um, you know yourself. And when, but when, you, when, you're, point, when you're in a battle, there's no one like, no no one's is like yours when you're in the right. battle. And that, that's, that, right. that, that's the big thing that people need to understand in mental health, I find, yes. because from when you turn things around, like when you're stuck in a moment of down, uh, suicide, <laughs> depression, anxiety, in that precise moment, you're the only one with it and everyone else needs to help you. And that's the chain of thought. And that's why it's so hard to shake it. Because no matter what Absolutely. anyone says to you, it doesn't matter. Because let's go back, like, if you don't mind, suicidal side of yeah. things. Yeah. 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 I was, at the, at the beginning, I kind of just went, I'm not talking about me, it's not about me, but just on that subject where yeah. I get what you're saying. But when you say selfish, like, it's, it's a weird one because I found that it's, I felt the same because I had a similar moment when my daughter was, when, when my missus was pregnant with my daughter, so I yeah. kind of had them thoughts, and I didn't try, but I had the thoughts, and I felt selfish after looking back at, at that, thinking, like, oh, I've got a daughter, what, like, what am I doing? But mm, it's not, yeah, yeah. you've got to think about it, it's not, people do it, I, I feel, to not escape, they love their life, they just don't like the pain no more. So that's I, right. I suppose that's the critical thing of why people commit suicide. It's nothing to do with what they've got around them. They can love everything mm. they have, but they just don't like the pain. And you can't mask that pain sometimes. And sometimes that just gets way too overwhelming for people. I mean, yeah, you're, you're, you're absolutely spot on, uh, Steve. I mean, for me, it was, um, it, it, there was that moment where that, you know, I, I went to the, I, I had to confront, I had demons. I had demons which are, I would. Um, I, I'm not going to go into sort no, of like no, 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 no. but obviously, what I will say to you is now it's been such a that I had demons that I had to face, demons yeah, yeah. that went back. You know, what I mean, back. Um, you know, what I mean, to, to 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 certain points of you know my younger days and whatnot, and I had to confront them in order to to battle. So I did go to my own personal hell. I did, and that's not. I, I don't look for sympathy stories. I don't look yeah, for. Yeah, no. I don't want no one. To, I don't want no one to feel sorry for me because at the end of the day, um, in, I always have a saying, right? And I, I always have a saying that I've stuck with for many, many years. And since obviously uh, with my, my, my counselling and yeah. and the, the, the therapy that I went through and whatnot, I always had that moment of of clarity to say, listen, at the end of the day, you're right. No matter what's around you. You can have all the love in the world, but it's you and it's there. So in my eyes, it starts with you and ends with you. You know what I mean? So that is, I was just I, about to I, say, I, what would you like everyone to take away with that? And that you, that is it. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's it. I mean, at the end of the day, you, you can have... You can have people's opinions, uh, Steve. You can have people's opinions. You can have people's love. You can have people's input. You've got advice. We get, we get, we get, we're given advice. You choose you know, what we you absorb. Things. You choose what you absorb, don't you? So people can give you opinions, right. people can give you false feelings, whatever, but you choose what you absorb, you choose what you take in, and you choose what you put out. Yeah. And exactly that. And as you said, you know, the whole going back to what you were saying about the suicide thing. Yeah, you, you, you can it, it, it can seem it can seem like it's it's uh, it's selfish. But, you know, at the end of the day, that person is in their own personal hell. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was and I had to I had to confront my demons in order to to get myself better. And it's something that I did do. Don't get me wrong. I come out the other end. You know, you've, you, you've seen me. You've seen me in person. Like, I'm an absolute lump. You wouldn't think, well, don't think there's oh, much to scare me. We like, had you know a what? really good time yeah. last time we was out, yeah, didn't I mean, we? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> and then you'll drive. And then, 
I'm going to have to have bad news plays. Oh, that's wicked. Well, dude, I, know, I know you and Carlo didn't come out very good at the end. Of that, like, you know, I, mean, I, I felt so bad. Like, it's me show. sitting in a warm car <laughs> and there's you two tracking across the field like that's going on forever. Like, you know what I mean? It's like not knowing what's in front of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> oh, that, was fun. Uh, that was that was funny, but like at the end of the day, Matt, as I say, it's one thing that people could take away that I always say to people now that you know only you can decide what you want to do. Only you can step it. As you know, Steve, I'm fighting with my weight right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, it's been an on-off battle for a long time. It's something that, yeah, over recently, I've overindulged. I've put a bit of weight back on, so I'm sort of back on it again now. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but um, I see myself as um, I see myself as just at the end of the day, it starts with you, it ends with you. No one else can change it. If you want to take people as advice, take it. You know what I mean? Don't if blame you them. Don't, don't blame them. Don't work. That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, what I mean, at the end of the day, you have to make the decisions on your own. I came through the the, the, the fires that I, that I felt my own battle. I've came out at the end of it. Yes, I'm a more emotional man than I've ever, I've ever been. Now, you know what I mean. You know, it's it, it can be it can be sort of out there, Steve. But at the same time, the way I look at it is that you know it's an experience. Would I want to go for it again? Uh, no, not personally. But is it an experience that I look back on and say, am I sort of in one way glad that it did happen? Yes, I am. Yeah. Because I think it's made me, it's taken me a long while to get my mind to back where I want it to be. And I feel a lot more sharper now, to no, be honest with you. I can I can actually sit there and say to people, well, this is this is what's happened. But you know, as I say, with every negative fault, there should be a positive fault. And I think that's all it boils down to. Now we still have I still have negative days. Of course, of course we do. I'm sure you do, like, you know what I mean? And we all do, but at the same time. You know, we try and keep positive to what it is. I mean, I've seen your other, I've seen, you know, your, your videos, I've seen, you know, set your journeys and, you know, you truly are. And, and, it, and like a lot of other people like yourself, and who, no matter whether it be a disability, no matter whether it be a mental health issue, no matter, it all ties in yeah. there, you know what I mean? And that's what you look at. And it's inspirational to see Thank people you. fight in the back I, I feel the same. I watch, uh, I watch, well, I get obviously I do this for my method. This is the reason I do it this way. It just helps me out as well as helps so many people, and it will help me at the beginning. Well, I watch loads of YouTube videos just on uh, not just amputees. People think you just watch amputee videos, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I've always now for a lot since I lost my arm four years ago. I just I spend my life on YouTube just watching people for obesity and getting through, and then. All, everything you can possibly imagine I've been watching because I find just people are just so amazing and inspirational when they decide to put their foot down and say, do you know what? I'm going to go forward now. Because yeah. a lot of people, it's easy to go through something traumatic, go through something, even anxiety, depression, whatever, you name it. It's just yeah. that whole wall that you just got to bust through. Because once you get through that wall, don't get me wrong, I'm still on antidepressants. Uh, yeah. I'm slowly coming off. I feel a lot better myself, but I just want to break through walls now. I just got to that point where I'm like, all right, that's enough. I've sat down for three years. I've done this. I've looked at enough people inspiring me, and I thank them for that. Uh, I've got mm. good opportunities ahead of me, but so I want to give it everything I've got. If I, what can't you do that? I want to try. <laughs> yeah. and, no, I, and I get that from what I've seen other people do that, and I've seen other people sit there, and I've seen people in worse situations. There's always someone worse off. I've seen them get yeah. up, and I've seen them absolutely smash limits. And I'm like, yeah, that's a bit of me. That's what I want. So that gives me the yeah, fire yeah. inside, just watching other people. This this world, humans amongst this world are just so powerful because you can just yeah. get such a vibe off someone. Like the vibration some people send to you, it's just like listening to a good song. So yeah, I've always absolutely. seen it like that. Do you know what I mean? I think you're an inspiration for what you're, what, what you've gone through, and what you're still going through. Uh, I just think it's just mad. But but the only thing we've got, we've got to push through. We're in the film together, the wrong. Oh, yeah, hey? the wrong well, I'm telling you, like there's not a lot of people see this. Um, they'll see that film. <laughs> yes, mate. That's it. I can't wait for that to happen. I mean, 
it's 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 just it's so exciting. Like I know it's obviously up the wall at the moment with um the, obviously the postponement of uh, post production, that's uh, like pre production and whatnot. But at the end of the day, it it, it is what it is. But this is yeah. going to be. And also, feel funny enough, I was talking to Carlo earlier on, and um, he was just talking about a few more others, like a couple of more, like sort of add ons to some scenes. And um, it, it was pretty, uh, pr- pretty cool, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Um, well, it's, it's nice to it's nice to see, you know, it, we just don't want people to sort of like lose, lose sort of interest in it. It keeps us going, you know what I mean? It, it's something else for people to do, like, you know what I mean? But, you know, yeah, you know like he's looking to do these. Um, we done the. Uh, we started doing the, uh, the, the the podcast for the cast interviews and stuff. Yeah, I've, I've, I've just um, put my time in. I've just put my time in. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's and it's like, man, you know, every, every, it was just like, you know, everybody's. I can't because it's so interesting to see other people's take on where they are. Like, I mean, yeah. where, where they are with it and what they they you know we we spoke a bit about you know about the the, 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 the what's happening in the world with the virus and you know different than the films and. Talking about oh, other yeah, things, yeah. you know what I mean? It's 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 it's, it's so good. Listen, all we could do is just stay positive. By in a, in right a, in the way, what is something? Let me just do one shout out. I just want to shout out to film it VFX Studios. Please hit them up on YouTube and crack along with the film that we're in called The Wrong. Uh, Paul's in it as well. Juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, juice. So yeah, please get over there. We've got some. Uh, Carlo's got some vlogs on that channel, so please get over there, hit subscribe and the alert mm. button, and go through our behind the scenes and the interviews we're talking about. That's, right the, one. That's <laughs> the one. <laughs> yeah, carry on, go. On. Yeah, so you know, it's, oh, sorry, mate. That's my uh, notification. I thought it was a <laughs> That's just coming apart. I love that. Um, yeah, I've um, listen. It is. It is. It's just. It's something to. Sort of like something positive to look forward yeah. to out of that. As I say, coming out of everything, I mean, I, I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to, to you know, to come on your your, your turning point show, man. You know what I mean? Always and, and talk about. It. Listen, at the end of the day, um, if it, you know, I've seen a few people that you've interviewed, and like, you know what I mean, and you know, and the ones you do yourself, and it's inspiring to see people who do who go through the things they do, whether it be good, whether it be um, bad, you know, at the end of the day, it's how, it's, it's how people deal it's with that. It's a turning point. Yeah, you got it in. in. <laughs> so, yeah. so, do you want a shirt? Do you want to say something? I've got a shirt made, but so this one says yeah, turning on. points. And then the seven, oh, yeah. the seven people who passed that day on the tram. Ah, uh, look at God rest their souls, mate. God rest them. All these shirts, these ones are the same. This is my limited edition. I only make and wear it. This one. This is my turning oh, point stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, don't forget, don't forget, to, oh, don't forget to plug the old merchandise situation there as well, mate. Uh, you know no, I mean? I'm not. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'll say out here: this is not a, a dime. Mm. This won't earn no money. You're like every, all these stupid other things I can do, I can learn money mm. in some other ways. But this is just my main priority. I just want to get people like today. You yeah. spoke, and I, I'm really happy you did. Honestly, it takes so much. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, mate. And uh, you know, you, you've you've got when I say like obviously when I say about merchandise, it is. Uh, with can I just point out to people, it is non sort of profit for Steve. He does this off his own back. Um, you know, he, he he puts out the awareness as you I'm sure that all of you know with Steve, he's he's you know, he's he started this all up, he's been through a massive battle, he's still going through a battle himself, and um, you know, he's one of the most sort of inspirational people that um I've ever met just to, to discuss so certain much, stuff man. with him. So guys, just remember, you know, I mean his his YouTube channels, Facebook pages, it's it's all there for you. Um, to look up, I'm sure. Um, Thank you know, you. click subscribe. You know, you once again, um, face there, look, see that, uh, see yeah. that, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so you much. Do, it means a lot, bro. Means a lot. That's cool. Yeah. So, moving. How are you? How are you feeling about? How's everything with yourself? Are you? Are you? Are you getting on? Are you getting on with? Uh, uh, you know, just everyday life. Really, while it's still going on. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I am. I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I am, to be fair. It's nice. I'm just, I'm just stuck in the order of the family, isn't it? Like, 
Perfect. <laughs> it was, um, I suppose it is that little. I mean, in, in, as you say, it's a nice connection that you get to sort of where you're, and obviously where you're always on the go as well. And now you're sort of, you know, you're in doors with, with obviously with your daughter, um, with your, um, with your, uh, obviously with your, your, your missus and whatnot. That, that's the same as me, you know. I mean, as old as my kids are, it's actually been nice to sort of interact. With them because they're always in and out of the house. You know, you know. How old are you? How old is Lauren? She's a. Uh... I mean, Lauren's 25 in July. Charlie, well, Ch- Charlie, poor Charlie, mate. He, Charlie turned 18 in March. And, and a pub shut. And then, and then a week later, the pub shut. So he was like, yeah, you can imagine. Oh, this, this t- t- don't worry, he'd be able to go on his 19th. <laughs> Absolutely, you know. So the poor son, he's like, trust me, you know. I turn eighteen. You know, I've been looking forward to this for like ever, and all of a sudden, the world has a pandemic and everything shuts, and I can't get in there and have a beer, like you know what I mean. So, oh, yeah. mate, that's so funny. Yeah. That's like me turning. That's like me turning sixteen and then changing the fag law to eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I had to wait another two years outside the shop. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Oh. But yeah, man, I mean, the quicker this is done with, I mean, the better. As I say, um, you know, I just, you know, as, as you know yourself, we had we had a lot of my uh, business. I'll just plug my business there. If you want to check it out, Soundboom, Mobile DJ Entertainment.com. You heard it check there, it man. Out. I'll get a link in. Um, that's the, uh, I'll get a that's link the in. website. Paul and Sue Soundboom on Facebook. Soundboom 19 on Instagram, guys. So, I'll get that all you know, below. please uh, follow us and whatnot. Um, this is, a, as I say, it's, it's been something to strive. The film and the business has been keeping my mind very, uh, very uh, obviously occupied and straightforward. You know, it has, it has played a big part in the business. As I say, I started up with a family member um, last year. Um, we've, uh, we've done a few gigs already. Um, we had quite a few books. Um, unfortunately, it's cancelled due to obvious reasons. Um, but, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. There's always stuff sort of going forward with it. You know what I mean? You know yourself, it's it's a big industry, is the mobile DJ industry. You know what I mean? It's it's very competitive. But, um, you know, it's... It's, it's how we do it, and it's how you uh, it's how you sort yeah. of bring your business to the forefront, you know. So, you know, getting sort of plenty of backing on there, you know, with a film. So, yeah, everything is in a world in a world that's full of negativity at the moment, mate. I'm trying to stay positive with things, you, like, can, the best thing you, can just, do, you know what I mean? Getting your family, you get your family in this little bubble. That's you it. think outside the box of all these ideas that you want to do. Pick one and do it, and that's mm-hmm. what you do. You know what I mean? Exactly. Stay inside your bubble. Exactly. What's that? What's that? Protectyourbubble.com. <laughs> That's a proper insurance for your positivity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, mate. Listen, I always know uh, anyone out there listening and uh, who's watching this, mate. Look, there's one thing that um, uh, one of my aunts always, my mum's sister, has stuck with me forever. Like it's like she always used to say to me, like every time if I felt down, I was upset, she'd say to me, look, just remember the sun is always shining behind the clouds, and it was like, mm. lie me. And as I kind of as, yeah. as a kid, it's just thought right, that's yeah. one of those things. Fine, and then as you grow yeah. up, you think, hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah, there it is. You start thinking like, you know what I mean? So it's just for me, I like yeah. to wake up every morning, stay with, I'll look up, I'll look up a positivity and I'll look at a quote and then for me, it gets my day going like, you know what I mean? And if it's, that's, that's the best way forward. If it's easy now, it's hard later. Mm. If it's hard now, it's easy later. Easy later. Fantastic. And I that's like the that. one that I've always stuck like by. Yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I absolutely that, love it. That just sticks by me. Now, that, that that that's every aspect. That's your mentality, physically, what work, yes. family life. If you're, if you're sitting back right now, things are easy. It's going to be hard. If you're putting the hard that's work right. in now, you're going to make your life easy. And that is just my motto. I've stuck to that, and I love that. That's something that got me going when I was going through. Well, that's that's the whole point of it, and that's the reason why I said to you earlier on with the whole with the whole. It starts with you and ends with you. Yeah. You know, for me everything inside that like you know i mean there is so many there are millions of quotes out there that we can all quote and we all enjoy we all use them and so forth like for me that ain't so much as a quote it's it is what it is it's a quote saying you know it starts with you and ends with you Uh, you're in control of it no one else can say to you this that and the other as i say you get advice you get guidance and all that whether you choose to use it 
is entirely up to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that for me has been I was I was quite a person that I would do anything for every anyone, Steve. I've, yeah. I've um I, you know, I was raised a gentleman. I always knew that what to how to bring myself uh, forward to people. You know what I mean? I've I've always conduct myself. I've I was raised on old school values. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. they come at a point where where you know you come across different things, positive and negative in life, where there were people who that sort of wanted you for for their needs rather than for who you were. Yeah. And without going down that road, it was just it was what it was. I, I didn't really I didn't really care much for not noticing that, just saying yes, 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 yes all of a sudden. And before you know it, when you start to realise and you start saying no, then you see the difference in attitude towards you. Like, from, sure. yeah. And, 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 you know what I mean? So, and that was how I conducted me. I've learned so much in the past four years, mate. I've got to be honest with you. And I'm 44 now. You know what I mean? So, you know what Young I mean? I've, I've, absolutely. Absolutely. I've, you know, I think it's just the truth. You know what I mean? What is the point of, what is the point of moping on it now? Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's no. It's no point of you know. I mean, we, you know, there's a, there's a world out there at the moment, yeah. mate, that's going mental and things are happening. But you know, it's that's how we do it. If we all just go down that road where we just give up, mate, then what's the point? You know what I mean? Oh, definitely. And that's yeah, really, it's a, you know, know what I mean. It's, every this is a very good uh, chance for. It's very like people out on their doorsteps clapping the NHS on. Yeah, yeah. Like, why now? Why didn't you think? Well, why yeah. can you all just see that the NHS is beneficial? Before, and not, but Absolutely. I just think I just think we're all so powerful if we stand together. Like I know we've got a lot of conspiracies going around, and mate, that's why I've got a Facebook doing my name. Uh, but Absolutely, like, All of us standing together and clapping in at chest is powerful, and I'm just like, no, nah, we'll, we'll get yeah. through this. We get we'll, we'll get through this as a group, and we'll get through everything as an individual in our own personal life as well. And that lion listen. behind you is amazing. I've got oh, my lion listen. there. I've got my lion oh, on this side. <laughs> I, will, um, I will speak to my... Oh, that's quality. I, I love that. I got my love. Um, I will speak to my... That's why I got that one done. They say no difference. They roar, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they roar at each other in a way. I love that. That is perfect there. I mean, what I'll do is, uh, Steve, I'll find out. I'll find out. I'll speak to my sister later on. I'll find out where she got that from. If I can get hold of another one, I'll, let, I'll get hold of it and I'll just send it straight to you. You know, that's going to be like. my background. It's basically a real hanging. It's just... It's a wall hanging, like you know what I mean, yeah, and I know yeah, that, that is, you know. And I love to listen. Can I just point out whoever's watching, mate? Um, look at Steve's design. I love that design um, that you've done um, on on the uh, on the page of uh, where your your face is mixed in with yeah. the uh, with the tiger. Is it not? It's a tiger, isn't it? Tiger, yeah. Yeah, and um, I, I've got I my, I've got, I've got a logo with a tiger, and I've got a logo with a lion. It lion, always, that, always that's different. that's right. Um, I've just got to say, man, that, that 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 design is awesome, man. It just what 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 better way to sort of catch someone's attention, like you know yeah, what I mean? No, it really thanks. is. Um, but yeah, I mean that that's that's exactly what it is, you know. With a uh, with um with pride, it's, it's, it's pride, it's courage, it's having the strength to bounce back. Um, I never thought at the time that I would bounce back from what I did. Yeah. You know what I mean? As I say, and then obviously for me, I did have a little of that that wobble. You know, 2016 was hell. The start of 2017, you know, I was out with Richard, Richard Atelier. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was I was out with Richard. We were at uh, the local rugby club having a drink, and um, uh, yeah, I came home that evening. We we were right. We weren't paralytic neither. We had just had a few drinks with them, with our wives and whatnot. And um, I come home, and um, you know, I called upstairs to, I called upstairs to my wife, to her, and and bosh, before you know it, um, yeah, I was having uh, having a stroke, and you know, and that was the missus noticed straight away. I spent four days, and this is just this is what I'm getting about with the NHS. I spent four days in the uh, stroke unit um, at um, at the Princess Royal okay. University Hospital in Orpington, and um, they were absolutely amazing. Um, um, everything you know, everything that they've done, um, it certainly made me open my eyes to certain things. Um, I kind of sort of like went off track. I did, I did lose my way a bit after that. Um, but seeing people going in there that would never come out the same way, and to see me 
make a full recovery, uh, especially after sort of abusing my body as such. I felt really guilty over it. Do you get what I mean? I felt I felt not so much guilty as in I just felt that, you know, there's people out there who are just healthier than you think. They're, they're doing what they're doing. And then all of a sudden, you know, bosh, you know, it happens. Yeah. They're having a stroke through the, like you know stress, or they're having they've had an heart attack or anything like that. You know, it was in mine was only a mini stroke. You know, what I mean, it was something like um, uh, one point one millimeter of brain tissue damage. That it was only tiny at the front of my brain. Yeah. And um, and the mad thing about it was what made me think is that, and for people out there, you know, the NHS is how much they stretch. Um, I went to the pro. Um, they had they had a cat mach- the cat, uh, scan machine there um, to, to do my brain, but unfortunately I was too heavy for it. Okay. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, that could have been a difference between saving my life or not. Do you understand? Okay. So yeah, yeah. for me, they had to transfer me to an hospital in East London to have it done, um, which you won't go in, and it's just this great big like polo, like you know what I mean. And it hit me then when the big screen on it it says Paul Killick. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, they actually inject dye into me in order for it to show up and so forth because of the body mass okay. uh, on me at the time. So it was, it was, it was frightening. Okay. It was frightening. And for me there, you know, they were absolutely amazing in the NHS. So a big shout out to uh, obviously the stroke unit um, at yeah. the Pro Hospital in Alpinton. I mean, Farnborough, um, just a massive shout out to them for my recovery. Um, to be honest with you. And as well. as you said, yeah. You, I mean, you know only too well, too well about the NHS and what they do for us, Steve. And at the end of the day, you know, that's, that's right. Why now? You know, they, they deserve they deserve the credit. They, they deserve they it all. Every day, many every years year. before that. I get some people may have bad experience with NHS, which is completely understandable. But at the end of the day, yeah. they do a lot more good than they do bad. So absolutely, I, absolutely. I, I mean, people will see now, it's, you especially, know, through, yeah. especially through what's going on now. People are really going to see what a difference they make. Absolutely. I mean, you're right. They they are they are truly remarkable people. Just Steve, if you don't mind, I want to give a quick shout out to my um, my cousin, my, my uncle, uh, an aunt's daughter, Holly Holly Killick. Um, she was a uh, uh, she's a nurse, mm-hmm. a great woman. Yeah. Um, sorry, mate. Yeah, right? she's um. She's um she's a, a nurse at Great Ormond Street Hospital, and she recently got transferred to the Nightingale Hospital, the new Nightingale Hospital. Yes. Um, so she's on the front line. Um, she's on the front line. So a big shout out to you and your colleagues. I've got a thumbs um, up for you. Nathan. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. You know. So yeah, send Hero. much love to you. Um, absolutely. Her and her colleagues, along with everybody else, the key workers out there, mate. Um, just doing their thing. Um. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts, yeah, basically. Damn right. so they damn they right. deserve that. Absolutely. So, yeah, cool, cool. You got to start, Paul. No worries. No, we got, we got, to, we got a lot of time there. That, that's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, as I say, it's a. Uh, we just got to keep going with it, haven't we? You know what I mean? It. It's, it's what more can, what more can you, we, we do? You know, there's not much. There's not much more we can actually uh, sit back now. We've got to sit, sit back and sit watch back now. And, just, and wait and wait for this to to come to you know to be able to get under control. They seem to be controlling it at the moment. You know what I mean? So mm, I think yeah, what, we will we will we'll be all right in about three weeks. But the thing yeah, is, yeah. That the one thing I do know, they're not going to rush to open nothing. It's going to be no, no rush. Right. Because sure. the government have to be safer rather than like they have to make sure they, they have to underplay it. They can't just say, "Oh yeah, oh by the way, it's great yeah, to go out now. The virus is gone." They yeah, yeah. Say they stay two months clear. The virus has gone just to be sure. Then it's going to be a while, but I don't know. I think we're all adapting, aren't we? We're going to find it weird when the shops open. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hair's going to be down here. <laughs> <Or> bushes. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not that hard, man. Long I've gone. I've gone. I'm, I've I've gone for what they call the COVID cut, like you know. You, what never, I mean? you never know you might actually get here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, like, you know what I mean. I might actually like you know what I mean. Grow some back. Yeah, next COVID. Time if you correct me, coronavirus, you will get here. <laughs> exactly. I swear to God, next time you speak to me, mate, I probably have good locks, mate. I swear to God. Wait, like, 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 speak your head up a bit. You look like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's bad, man. <laughs> no, but honestly, no. Thanks, thanks, thanks for talking on this today. What I'll do is, um, Listen. I'll go away, Paul. I have a little edit with it. I'll send you a little copy. Mm-hmm. You have a little look. As I said, you don't need to get deaf. This is all about just, just talking in general, talking about things. I thank you for everything you've shared. Honestly, I really do from the bottom of my mind. Oh, listen, if, listen I, the way I look at it, mate, um, I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable with talking about yeah. stuff um, like it now, Steve, to be honest with you. Um, if it means that, you know, if, if 10 people watch and it gets through to one person, um, that's that's job done, like, you know nice. what I mean? Um, I I'm that, sure yeah. that, you know, as I say, just a big shout out to all your subscribers and all that. Um, listen, guys, at the end of the day, you know, we're, unfortunately, we are in a world at the moment that's um, that's that is quite negative, and it's it's just things happening out there. But look, at the end of the day, if we're waking up each morning, that's one blessing you can count, mate. You know what I mean? So that's that's the way we look at it. Because unfortunately, some people are not that fortunate um, at this time. So yeah, that's yeah. all. That's all I'm saying, mate. I want to leave it with that. Okay, excellent. No, I end it with that. I love that. Excellent. <laughs>